what we have up here are a number of visuals or views on the board um, that will allow us to draw into some of the detail and see it visually. So most common one in project management is um, our Gantt chart. So you'll see on the left-hand side, our activities are listed out according to groups, um, the groups of items, planning, execution, launch, and our actual activities on a, on a, um, a calendar view. We can change the view to quarters or uh, weeks as well. Um, I'm just going to select auto fit to pull this in here. The color of the activity represents the status of the activity as well. So great visual representation. I can actually click in to uh, into the activity and edit something here if I need to. And I can also move an activity along which will kick off an automation and move all the dependency, all the other activities that are dependent on that activity. So if activity three was, or task three was uh, postponed because someone was ill perhaps, then it will um, move all the uh, other activities along as well. I can also, from this view, go and create a new item and add it um, to the, to the uh, table. Another view that's quite similar to a Gantt view is just a, a timeline view. In this case, we have got, um, again, a calendar view of tasks, um, but split out between the people who are actually allocated to the task, so we can see who, who is responsible for delivering what and um, when they should do so. Another view will is a sim simple sort of column chart, which will track um, effort, so planned effort versus effort spent. Uh, and then this is our workload uh, view. And this is really great for managing capacity and uh, resources around, um, uh, around a, a pro project tasks. So what this does is for each person, and, and again, this is on the week view, it will put a place a blue dot. The blue dot is um, the size of that is determined by the the hours, the amount of hours that we put into uh, into the main table around planned effort. Um, so it will calculate all the items, all the activities that Grant has in a particular week, and and reflect that in that blue dot. What's superb about the um, the visualization is that I can set what the the weekly capacity is, the total number of hours anyone can do in a week. And if it's greater than that, it will highlight it in red. So very simple to see that Manaki is going to be completely overwhelmed and not sleep in week six. Um, but I have got nothing to do, neither does Grant, so maybe I can reallocate. Or we know we need to do something around um, those tasks. Right. So that's um, an overview of, of the, the detail you can go into in tracking your, your project and the information that you can capture.